Hey, it's Raz of Dazzle Marcus again. Um, so, this isn't exactly Kingdom Hearts, but um, I wanted to do this Let's Play because, for one thing, I had this game, and two, um, a bit of sad news. Um, so, in case you are unaware of DuckTales, it was a show that was created like in 1980, I want to say 88 or 89, somewhere around there. Um, which centered around Donald's uncle, Scrooge McDuck, and um, his voice actor, Alan Young, uh, just passed away like a couple weeks ago. So I kind of wanted to dedicate this entire Let's Play to him because DuckTales actually, uh, it was like, like one of the hugest parts of my childhood because I remember because it piqued my curiosity enough to like, like into all these different shows from like the Disney Afternoon era, such as. Darkwing Duck, Tailspin, Chippendale Rescue Rangers. I mean, I grew up with a little bit of DuckTales and a little bit of Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Um, but DuckTales always kind of like stood out to me because, for one thing, there was this movie that I remember seeing like a couple different times as a kid, one way or another, which was the, the DuckTales movie, Legend of the Lost Lamb. I think that's what it's called, or something of a lost lamb. But anyway, um... We're going to start a new game. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Oops, shit. So, we're going to go on... Yeah, we're going to go on easy. Because this game actually does get hard. So, I'm pretty sure some of you guys are wondering, like, did I grow up with, like, the NES version of this? The answer is no, um, however, I, I did, like, enjoy a lot of, like, I really did enjoy a lot of, like, the original series. So, uh, yeah, the, the game systems I really grew up with were, um, the PS2, obviously, because of Kingdom Hearts, uh, the N64, um, and... My game, uh, my original Game Boy, as well as my Game Boy Advance, really. And then, uh, along came my GameCube and, uh, a couple other stuff uh, along the way. Oh, okay. Alright, wow. Alright. <laughs> Can I get the po- oh, okay, here we go. It's, it's actually been a while since I played this game, honestly. Because I remember the first time I played this, um, I don't think I ever, like, went back to it, honestly. So, it, it's pretty much like, uh, an old-school platformer, which you don't really see that much of, like, in today's day and age. So, I thought, uh, I thought it'd be a really interesting thing to put on this channel. Yeah, apparently, like, Mob Beagle must have been really busy because there's, like, like a ton of Beagle Boys around here. Yeah, it's pretty standard stuff. It's actually really fun to hear like all these 90s voice actors come back to do this game. Cause whoever voiced that Beagle Boy right there, I I forgot what the name of the voice actor is. But I, I recognize him from um I recognize him from Animaniacs. He was the the security guard. And then Rusty uh Rusty Taylor voiced uh Huey Dewey and Louie who also voices Minnie Mouse if you can believe that. I'm telling you, man, like, I, like, know, like, a lot about Disney shit. Like, it's kind of unnatural in how much, like, it's kind of unnatural, really, in, like, how much of this stuff I really know. Am I up here? Okay. So, it's so, in this game, the more money you get, the more, um, extra stuff you earn, like, concept art and... Um, TV concept art, actually. 
So like along the way, you can like get like a whole bunch of stuff from the TV show and the game. So uh, it's pretty standard stuff. Sorry if I seem like a little bit weary. It's like been a long day of recording. Because at the time of this recording, like, I just got done recording, like, several different things. One of them was that huge live stream I did with Kingdom Hearts and uh, the multiplayer episode I did of Pokemon Stadium. So, like, right now I'm trying to, like, do, like, a lot more stuff with this channel as opposed to, well, rather, like, I wanted to get some variety going, really. Because I feel like there's like an oversaturation of Kingdom Hearts on this channel, so I kind of want to balance it out, you know? So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what a great way to balance it out, by the way. Of, yeah, me playing another Disney game. I remember that was the one that was always about like the what was the uh, the uh, the chainsaw cheesecake. That's it. Oh shit! I did the wrong thing. Ate cheese with a burger and then, well, bam! Jablam! Yeah, Louie's the green one. Again, I, I know too much about <laughs> these characters because, like... For one thing, I've been watching a lot of DuckTales recently, and... It, it, I don't know, it wasn't just because of the fact that, like, Alan Young passed away. Actually, I was, like, watching DuckTales, like, way before he did, by the way. Which is kind of eerie, honestly, because I remember I started watching DuckTales again recently, and... That's when the news of Alan Young passing away came about. And then, like, that hit me hard. Because, like... Like, did... Because <laughs> I was, like, thinking to myself, like, did I jinx her or something? Like, Jesus, man. And it's, like, even more sad to, like, think that... You know, Alan Young passed away just as soon as, like, this new DuckTales reboot was coming out. The reboot for the TV series, by the way. It's actually been a while since I've actually heard any news about it. Because I remember the first thing that I heard about the du um, the DuckTales reboot was that, oh, it was going to suck just like Power uh, Powerpuff Girls because of the fact that it looks so different. That's not at all a case of why people are hating on the new Powerpuff, uh, the Powerpuff Girls reboot. Because I'll agree, I'll, I'll, I'll agree on this criticism about the Powerpuff Girls reboot, is that if it feels very much different in a way that, like, it kind of loses focus of, like, what it started out originally. And it, it's okay to take a franchise in, like, a new direction. I mean, I... In my Kingdom Hearts Let's Play, I go on and on about, like, how the, the Planet of the Apes reboot is, like, far different from the originals, and it kind of loses the campiness of it. But you know what? It's okay if, like... It's okay if, like, a certain aspect of something, you know, is kind of lost in the process of creating something new. To me, it's just a matter of keeping to the original spirit of it. And at least, like, if you are going to take it into a new direction, then at least, like, show that you care a bit. But with this... Oh, fuck, I fucked up. Did I? Yeah, I did. I was supposed to keep that barrel over there, and then I was, then I could get those, those chests. All right. So take care of that, and then, then I could just. There we go. Don't know if I can. No, I just bun I just bounce off the ceiling, I guess. Oh wait, it's back. Cool. Oh, invincibility. Oh shit! <laughs> I was about to go out there all like all gun hollow about it. Come on. Oh, 
Oh shit, that was close. But as long as like you keep to, I don't really necessarily keep to the spirit of it. I mean, it can be different however you want. But as long as like you don't lose sight of like what made that original property so good in the first place. Like to me, like the Powerpuff Girls reboot just seems like another, like kind of cheap children's comedy. Oh wait, am I supposed to? Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Because to me, like, it just seems like another, like, kid's comedy, and, like, it's pretty much, like, focused towards, like, kind of, like, the trendy thing. There's, like, a lot, a lot of jokes about butts and all that, all that stuff. And the animation style, actually, is, like, not terrible, it's just kind of, like, bland and generic. I mean, yeah, I get, like, it wants to cater to that, uh, Crickly Cracked style, but... I don't know, it just doesn't feel right whenever you make it just, like, all, you know, thin. Because, like, that's the only really different. that's the only difference with that, really, is that... Uh, the character models, like, they're pretty much, like, instead of having those, like, thick outlines, they just have those thin ones. And that's the only difference with it. At least with like the um, the one Craig McCracken worked on, the one that like was like mostly like cell shaded and stuff, which had this completely different art style. At least that kept the original spirit of things. Um. What was it going with this? Oh, the, um... I was, like, so focused on, like, talking about Powerpuff Girls, I didn't realize I was getting my ass kicked. Oh shit, why did I let that hit me? Oh, okay, he, he gives me health. Fuck! It. A part of it is just trying to, like, get used to the, um... The Wii controls. The Wii U, rather. Because B is to jump and then A is to use the pogo stick. Fuck, I died? Ah. Uh, this is so weird. Oh, let me focus on this game right here. It should blam. Whoa, it's coming over here. Fuck, oh, why didn't I jump fast enough? Oh shit. No, not that way. I can't believe I'm getting my ass kicked at like the very first boss of the game. Why can't I avoid- God damn it! I'm gonna try my damnest just to... There we go. Good lord. Anyway, what can I really say about like the new um, art style with the new DuckTales reboot? Or at least like the first image that came out. Um, it, it very much looks very reminiscent of like the comics that DuckTales is based on to begin with. Which I very much like agree with. Like, it definitely does look like they're taking like an adventure route with this, which I'm very thankful for. They could have easily like focused more on the comedy and like the misadventures, um, kind of like in the style of. I don't want to say Teen Titans Go, but like, um, just like doing like everyday stuff. You know, I mean. Because what made the original DuckTales series so great was that it was able to, you know, create very interesting... It was able to create very enjoyable characters, and as well as, like, take people on, like, you know, wild adventures. 
And like most of the energy that came from the adventures themselves were all the characters working off of the, um, off of each other, which was really great. And just just by judging from that first image, it very much looks like it's um, following that same kind of style. I do kind of applaud the fact that you know they're brave enough to use um, Donald and Daisy this time around because. Daisy, I don't believe, made an appearance at all in, like, the original series. But I know Donald has, like, one or two times, just to, like, not take away any focus whatsoever. Not to take away any focus at all from, uh, you know, Scrooge McDuck, because at the time, it was a very relatively unknown character. Okay, so, it may seem like a short game, but... Um, the, level, the levels themselves are actually kind of lengthy, so... Um, I guess we can end it off right here, and next episode we can tackle the Amazon. I'm, I'm just going to do these episodes one by one. So, in the next episode, we are going to be going into the Amazon, so I'll see you guys next time. Peace.